Welcome back here. We are at Vigil's Keep. Uh, we are the commander, and this is our place. Now we have to figure out what the hell is going on with these dark spawn that are talking and all this weird stuff. It, it appears we have a ton of people to talk to, all types of stuff to do here, and we're just going to jump right in. So, uh, what, Mistress Woolsey, what's up with you? Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Woolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Okay, so I am pleased to have your service. You're from uh, Weishaupt, and the Dark Spawn are my pri priority. The Treasury can wait. That's not actually true. We're going to say you're from. Not Weishaupt itself. I'm from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. Okay, so how do I deal with that? Uh, is the situation really that dire? Probably. I am new to the Arling. Which road is the Pilgrim's Path? We'll ask that. It is that. the road here from Denerim. You can see why it would be important. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. Cool. So we have to go talk to him and find out. Um, the first warden sent only a treasure. I need more wardens. I don't, like, that. we don't understand how money is, yeah. You control the purse, you control a lot. Um, have you ever been to Weishaupt? And why does the first warden care about Amaranthine? That will be all. Why, well, yeah, why does the First Warden care about Amaranthine? About the Arling? He does not. But about the implications? A great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, at great personal risk. We did. We're now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. Well, yes, we, yeah, to not throw us away um, when you don't think you need us, and then when you do, we're not there anymore, right? Uh, that will be all. Uh, have you ever been to the fortress? No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, well, we'll say it. The First Warden sent only a treasure. I, well, I'm not going to say that, no. Uh, that will be all. Very well, Commander. All right, new quest of the Righteous Path, which is going to be what the Pilgrims speak to Mervis in the city of Amaranthine. Will do. Uh, we'll wait on the Sentinel and go to Captain Garavel first. Captain. Commander, Captain. this is Sir Garavel. The new captain of the guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Sure. Um, anything important? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the Darkspawn attack on the Vigil? I have business to attend to. I'm going to say, what do you know about the Darkspawn attack on the Vigil? My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. I think they were captured, it seems like, right? Some of them are just missing. Where did the Darkspawn come from? How many soldiers survived? The Darkspawn leader talked. I heard him. How about that? We're going to go with that one first. That is disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands, we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. Yeah, well... It was interesting, too, because he said, let's spare and not, not, we don't want any more killing than what is necessary. So maybe these dark spawn aren't so bad. We'll find out. Well, there are two sides to different, of a coin and to every story, you know, or 12 sides to a story, something like that. Uh, where did they come from? How many soldiers survived the attack? I'm going to say, where did they come from? I talked with the dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur that they came from the keep itself. That makes sense. The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. And 
I wonder if that talking guy there used to be a warden or something. You know what I mean? Like there's some weird thing because we're we're literally ingesting their blood and kind of connecting to them too. So who knows? How many soldiers survived the attack? How about that? We'll go with that. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. And Myri, so sad about her, man. I liked her. And of course we did. Like in that short time, I was happy to have her as a character. And then, nope, she didn't survive it, of course. Uh, do we have a different subject? Certainly. Oh, we'll ask, was there anything important you needed to talk to us about? Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. Ooh. Um, since when is a hunting tale a lead? Why don't we just shut up and listen to him? <laughs> what did the hunters claim? These hunters, Go. Colbert and, well, the other one, claim to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. And the other one. Whoever that is. Uh, those hunters may have found the Darkspawn breeding ground. Where is Colbert? Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Sounds like we're going to be heading to that. Uh, last of the Legion. Talk to Colbert about his discovery. Captain Garavel reported that two hunters stumbled upon what seems to be a cave full of darkspawn. He suggests that you see whether there's any truth to the matter. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. We might we might screw that up all the time. Uh, yes, and now talk to the big guy. To business, then. Ole sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. Oh, Kristoff sounds a good name. Um, do -do -do. Where is he? The Orlesian Wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Everything's in Amaranthine. All roads lead to it. Uh, Amaranthine isn't small. How will I find him? Did Kristoff reveal anything of what he found? Why aren't the Darkspawn returning to the deep roads? Well, if he knew that... We'll, we'll ask, but um, did Kristoff reveal anything of what he found? He did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Well, well, well. Um, why, why aren't they returning to the Deep Wiser Roads? men than I have worried over that. One of the Wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> mm -mm. Uh, Amaranthine isn't small, how about that? Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Oh, we're going to check the inns and taverns. We're going to have some amazing times. Maybe we'll run back into, uh, is it Isabella? Is there anything else, or can we talk of other matters, sir? That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Oh, we want it. No, I don't know. Um, well, what about you? As much as you like, sir. Generally, the Keep Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, tell me about Kristoff again. No, no. We call uh, her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Oh, well... That's okay. Yeah, because we're just taking this place over, basically. Um, well, last, what about him? As again? you wish, sir. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the dark spawn. Right. Christoph was sent to trap. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. Right. We got it. So, Shadows of Black Marsh. Look for Christoph and Amaranthine. A Grey Warden named Christoph was absent from the Vigil's Keep. And we will find him there, over yonder, Thar. What do we got going on with this map of this room? We have Anders, we have Ogren. I'll always say Ogren, Ogren. I'll keep just jumping around. We have an enchanter. Enchanter. No doors. This place is cool. Oh, let's time. Oh, is it ready? Are we ready? Oh, the warrior's heart. A, a book, huh? A book on various orders of warriors with particular emphasis on the Grey Wardens, Ash Warriors, Legion of the Dead, and Silent Sisters. Cool. Well, and Grandmaster Frost Room. Yes, we'll take that. Um... Just want to walk around the room a little bit before we continue our convos. Weapon stand, what do we got? 
Ooh, Dumat's spine. We're gonna take I mean we're gonna take it all because we're either gonna keep or sell or re-outfit people. We'll do a round here at some point. Who's Urea? Uriah? Mm-hmm. And a book. The first warden. The nominal leader of our order is the first warden, but you can expect little assistance or guidance so far from the Anderfels. Even those close to Weishaupt learn to suffer alone. The murmurs are true. The first warden is often embroiled in the politics of Anderfels and has little opportunity to consider worldly matters. I would like to believe it is a matter of survival, not of political self-interest. Know that your mission is vital. You carry the hopes of our order. If the highest among us holds noble titles outside of the Anderfels, perhaps we will be better situated when the next blight comes, as we all know it must. A confidential report. Mm. So, you know, on that note, maybe we should have, uh, damn it, had Alistair be a warden and a, a king, you know. But uh, the tree, tree people, is this from the tree of the people? I ever I think that was an older one that I just hadn't been able to find. Let's let's talk to the Well, well hold on, hold on. Ah, who, who's there? Oh, that ta the cask, I thought we were going to get some. Uh, did I startle you? I was uh, I was just keeping my nose to the dust, you know, watching out for the schleets. One of the lads here told me about the schleets. So they're common in Ferelton. They, they lie on the ground, looking like ordinary pairs of pants, until you turn around. That's when they, they strike. Somebody's messing with you. Um, uh, Agrin. There's no such... Oh, well, I knew that. I thought you'd just find it amusing. He's all. gonna go murder somebody now. That Jacob's gonna get it when I get my hands on him. Um... I love him in certain ways, and I'm happy like messing with him. But this guy's on our side, and if he's going to get drunk, he can get drunk as he wants. But I can't have him believing there's things like jumping around at him that aren't true. How about that? Can we still? Uh, hey, I gotta, I gotta thank you for saving my hide today. There was that guy, and he was all, and I was, but then I got hit by an arrow, and then I fell over, and he was. Meep. But you were there, and you were all raw. <laughs> Spectaculous. I love... Oh, he's using good words now. Um, Happy to help. I think I remember that vaguely. I'm happy to help, Augur. I'm gonna drink to you, Commander. Here's to the... Here's to the... Uh, oh. <sighs> That is hilarious. Once again, can I still get to, I'm, I'm trying. Is this only to talk to him? So what about it, huh? Huh? It is. I, it's the cask. Um, what about what? I was thinking about my plan for a grand fleet of Mabari chariots. Talked to your dog about it once. Didn't seem impressed. Yeah, where's our dog? The thing is, the Grey Wardens could use a snazzier image. Everyone thinks we're a grim stick in the muds. Oh, and the ladies love them chariots. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to say is Ogren has grown on me tremendously. I know he's he's very rude and out of line in a lot of ways, but he's a Grey Warden now, man. He, he did the joining, he drank that stuff, and now he's one of us. He's my guy all day. Like, we're... Uh, Ride or die. Need something pummeled? Yes. Hey, you. Is you there? You. <laughs> okay, um... No, no, no. I'm gonna say yes. We're, we're oh, done here for now. Oh, you're a tricky one. But you're not getting into my head. Oh, no. You with your murmuring, your buzzing. I know your plan. But it won't work. I'm... On to you. Uh, why don't you lie down and rest? I think you're just uh, sensing the dark spawn. Aha! You trying to distract me with with rational explanations won't be fooled. Oh. Right on. Whoa. I'm hearing. 
Oh. I separate it, but Grunt is in there a little bit, you know. I love it. All right. He's so... I, I'm so happy I did those conversations. Oh, look, these people, by the way. Let's not pass over some of the artwork on the walls. Is that the, the first warden? Or is that... Yeah, who knows? Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. The merchant you saved was grateful to be alive. Restock me for a bargain. The savings are yours, of course. You need anything, Commander? Um, well, let's at least see what you have. Let's take a quick look here. Okay, well, he's got a book here called Manual Shadow, and I don't know what that is, but we are going to grab it. It's going to be most our money for a minute, but <laughs> I don't care. We want anything that's interesting. And there are some runes here, and other than that, I just got rid of some stuff. I picked up some poultices, because I feel like that's where we're at. There's no... Um, yeah. Oh, what is that? Dragonbone walking stick compared tier seven. That's fun. I'm going to want to probably get into that at some point, but we'll see here. All right. Specialization unlocked. That's what that is. Shadow. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll be looking at that later next time we level up with a specialization. Okay. Personal storage. Ooh. Well, this is very nice. Now, I got a bunch of stuff here. I'm not sure what I want to keep yet, but I'm going to hold on to it until I'm ready to drop off. Let's check out this book real quick. Vassals and their liege, huh? Some kingdoms uh, ridiculously, rigidly, is that what we're... Define the rights of vassals and their duty to their liege. In Ferelden, a relatively new kingdom, the Arles and Arlises theoretically command their Arlings, bands, and lords. In practice, those lessers often zealously maintain their independence. Some Ferelden vassals must be goaded instead of ordered, swayed, not ruled. Vassals owe military obligations to their liege, yet often deny even sworn oaths and, and sign contracts. In contrast, the vassals expect their liege's protection despite provocation otherwise. A successful Ferelden liege applies force, persuasion, and duplicity in equal measure. Well, 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 okay. Well, we learned that, didn't we? Oh, some more, well, Trickster's Tunic. Tier eight. That's fun. Let's take all this stuff. We're gonna have to, once we get our party together, we will see what's up. Uh, more Another Verses of Dreams. Good stuff going on. Oh, wait. Oh, that looked like my dogs. Oh, I want my dogs. Okay, well, let's talk to the ambassador first. The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. Oh, excellent. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Um, do you have runes for sale? Certainly. Oh, she does. And Lyrium Potions. We could probably use some, but I think we're going to probably pick some up, and I don't have any money yet anyway. Uh, I could sell a, I can sell a ton of stuff at some point here, but I'm just not there yet. Let's just see. All types of master runes. And we can be making runes now, so that's a new thing. Uh, what else can we May do? May I be of service? I'd like to have something of enchanted. Course. Oh, yeah. Where's our enchanter boy? So... What I want to look at here is just what we have. Armor of the Legion is enchantable. Oh, that's equipped by Ogren. Okay, well, yeah. Let's. We're going to be taking him with us, I think. No, I don't care. You know what? We're going to get more. If they're novice, that's what we have for now. You do it. What else we got on Ogren? Darkspawn Ravager. You know what? I don't... For now... Oh, we don't have any anyway. That's fine. We're going to compare it to because he might have something that's better at some point. But um, let's get out of here. Talk to our boy here, Anders. What's up, Anders? Should we get a move on? Oh, we have nothing to say, do we? Well, I think we should get a move on then. Very good. If everybody's ready, let's go. And who are we taking with us? I would think it would be uh, Ogren and Anders. But yes. it's implying we're going to have more people at some point. So, um, except... Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. Oh, where is he? Um. Yeah, where is he? He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Um, show them to me. Just give me a moment. 
Oh, letters for the commander. Uh, a daughter ransomed. Commander of the Grey, I am Sir Edgar Bensley, a faithful vassal. My daughter and sole heir, Eileen, has been kidnapped by mostly the snake's vile lot of miscreants. Mosley. Okay, Mosley the snake. Right, okay, I get his name. My fief is small and my means meager. And they have demanded 30 sovereigns in a time frame I cannot meet. I pray you will intercede on my behalf. The ransom is to be delivered to the abandoned chantry by Forlorn Cove. If you produce the ransom, I swear by my faith in Andraste that I will repay you in time. You and my gentle daughter go with my prayers. I don't have the money, but we could go there and try to get into some trouble. And we might. Oh, we've accepted it. Uh, far afield. Most honored commander, ever since my husband passed, I've been looking for after my family and the hired hands, but the Darkspawn have been getting worse. We have a Templar who checks on us occasionally, but there's a limit to what he can handle. If you can help my family, we'll tell Lord Edelbreck you're a friend. I fear we may not have much time. From Valena Ternoble. Okay. New quest, The Prisoner. Speak to the prisoner. A man was caught sneaking around... In the keep, yes, we're going to mark that one right now. Uh, mark is active. He's clearly no simple thief. we got to find... Where's the base? Where the hell are we here? We're at Vigil's Keep. Oh, there's the dungeon over here. Vigil's Keep basement. Uh, Voldrick. Oh, we got to talk to that guy. There's a friggin' blacksmith. There's a friggin' blacksmith. There's people. There's friggin' people everywhere. It's awesome. Well, let's go here first. Area unlocked. The dungeons. Hello, cell guard. What are these? Prisoners' affects? Or effects? Sorry, I'm freaking out. Antivan longbow. The bearskin embrace. I mean, this is all good stuff here. So we can take it, and we either give it to him or we don't. Is that the deal? Who's who's Nathaniel? Let's talk to this guy, though. Ah, oh, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. Who is he? Why not just execute him? Who is he? He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar. That's for sure. Let's, let's find out about his burglar. Um... Leave me to talk to him. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. What if we turn people away? I just don't know when that has happened. Oh, we got some leveling up, too. Let's do that real quick. Let's find our boys. Get them set up, and we'll check their equipment just to make sure I don't have anything better, but I don't think I do right now, so... So it appears that we are back to normal, or to even here, with people as far as, like happiness with them so i'm gonna give our boy ogren here it'll do sure he didn't like that ale uh to hell with you um you know what here hold on it'll do sure gave an ox bone that's funny and he's not we're gonna wait on him and you sir i don't know um this is poetry inspired by the fade for a wizard you shouldn't have yeah that was a plus five that was a good one and uh, i don't know brown cake Flex of dog spittle still cling to it. Oh man, we gotta give that. That was for our dog, I think. Damn it. Um, well, he brought it to us, I think. I can't remember how we went with that, but I think we're looking pretty set. We got some approvals there. Let's talk to this guy now. Nathaniel. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil. Oh, you know. Aren't it. you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Uh, the dark spawn probably thinks so. Are you trying to insult me? I see my reputation precedes me. That's it does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. I am Nathaniel Howe. Oh. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Oh, I do. Arl Howe was a traitor, so you came here for revenge. Your father brought this end on himself. Ah, so you're the Arl's son. I'm gonna say your father brought the, his end on himself. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. 
It's all I have left. I hear you on that. Uh, you tried to have me killed. Just how much do you know about your father? Uh, your family has belongings still here? Question mark. You know, I'm. I'm gonna say just. Just how much do you know about your father? If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? I, yeah, I don't think the son should have to pay the sins of the father here. That's crazy. Uh, what will you do if I let you go? I understand we have... We had trouble capturing you. Your family only has itself to blame for its troubles. Do you really hate me so much? Perhaps you should uh, work to redeem your name. Um. Oh man. Let's. I could say, your family only. Only. There's a lot of things to say. I'm gonna say I understand we had trouble capturing you. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. And what skills are those exactly? How about that one, yeah? Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? Uh, we want a rogue with a bow. Now we'll take that, maybe. Uh, I've decided what to do with you. How about we try that? Already? Good. I'm, I'm just kind of jumping. I brought I the just, Seneschal for you, Commander. I just know what's up. If we can tell him he's coming with us. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Yep. Uh, did, do, do you know this was Nathaniel Howe? I wish to invoke the right of conscription. Hang on, he's too dangerous to be allowed to live. Release him. I want him gone. Did First of all, did you know this was Nathaniel Howe? Uh, Howe? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. Oh, man. Um, if I release him... The, the right of conscription is pretty hard. We're going to do it. He was going to murder us. We need your ass. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. Uh, did I say I was giving you a choice? You didn't think this is better than dying? Fine, hang him if that's what he wants. That's what I'm going to say. The Commander of the Grey has ruled. You have been sentenced to death on this, the 17th of Ferventis... In the 31st year of the Dragon Age. Have you anything to say before the sentence is carried out? Do your worst. Then you'll come with me. Oh, man. No funny hey, business either. We're... Or it'll be something a lot worse than hanging. It's a role-playing game. New codex completed. We lost him. But we're going to find another, I would think, at some point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, dude. We're playing this. The... I, I can't, I can't feel regret for uh, having fun here. Uh, I gotta see here. Where was uh, completed quests? Vigils keep. No, companions. The prisoner, the prisoner was Nathaniel Howe, son of the late Arden Rendon Howe. You ordered his execution. Man, they just don't mess around in here, do they? Do you keep track of how many darkspawn you kill? We should compete. Man, need something pummeled. Just say the word. It sucks. I don't know if I uh, like that situation, but I'm not going back. I was hoping that if we said, fine, kill him, that he was going to be like, oh, no, don't kill me. But I guess, yeah, it was kind of the same thing with the uh, the Alistair stuff. So, all right, well, we, we live with our decisions and we move forward. I'm just going to say, it's like he he didn't want, he said, I'd rather die. Isn't he going to hate us for the rest of his life for doing it? Like, even with um, Loghain, he, I think, was proud and willing to to take the, to become a warden, you know, and to do something. Like, this guy, I don't know what his thoughts are and stuff. I don't know. So, anyways, I we're, we're brutal. We're brutal. Look oh. at that! It's Andraste. Or, was Andraste uh, really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Well, I don't know. Don't say such things. It's just a statue. Are you looking for real realism? It's an icon. That's what I'm going to say. Just wondering aloud. After all, Andraste did exist, didn't she? Oh, what I don't know. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons or be made tranquil? 
Uh, she was fighting against mages. She'd probably think it was a good start. She'd probably be confused by it. No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker. Ooh, ooh. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. I completely agree. Says the fellow mage. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. Ha, right on. Oh, we got some major approval from Anders there. What's up, dude? Who are you? Uh, Sergeant Maverlies. Or Maverlies? I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still darkspawn in the vigil. Hmm. The captain didn't mention anything mentioned anything about that. Um there are there are darkspawn still about? Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time they may dig their way out. Okay. Uh, I'm good at killing dark spawn, but not at digging. And if I don't head down, uh, you know what? Take me to the cave and straight away, sir. Let's just go. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades, and that blasted Dwarkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. Okay, have the men clear the rubble. How did dark spawn get down here? How far did the basements go? No one knows. The Vigil's always been here. Since the Barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? Okay, um... How did Darkspawn get down here? I don't know, but no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface, either. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. Okay, have them clear the room. You heard the Commander. Put your backs into it. We'll get... This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead. Oh, I know. We'll don't. be back here. It comes from beneath... Vigil's Keep is one of the oldest settlements in Ferelden, older than Denerim and Guaran. The barbarians who battled the Teventer Imperium chose this location for a fortress so that their warning fires would be visible at great distance when Teventer ships neared the coast. Uh, the Vigil has seen battle in every major invasion of Ferelden. Teventer's rival barbarian clans and Orlesians have all held her battlements. The Vigil was the first fortress to fall to the Orlesians and the last to be freed. The cellar beneath Vigil's keep retains traces of Avar barbarians. To the Avars, the Vigil was both a fortress and a holy site. The cellars bear monuments to their gods, heroes, and their rare military victories. Well, that's brilliant, but can we get out of here? <laughs> um, I'm realizing we need we we could have another party member. I don't know that. I don't know that timing affects any of this shit. How about that? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, who's... Wait, so, private? Me. Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. What? Uh, farewell. Commander. Oaths of fealty? Hold on. Present yourself to the nobles. The nobles are waiting to swear fealty to you. Meet them in the throne room. Um, yeah. I mean, let's keep that active. But we're over here. We're just trying to find out some stuff. Oh, there's Dworkin. All oh, you crazy bastard. I emptied out my stores blasting those dark spawn. Once we're done with repairs, we should some talk. Of our best customers, and they need us. I miss okay. my shop. This place is so drab, it offends my sensibilities. And Rusty preserve me. Yeah, serenity now. Ah, okay. Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest. And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> Finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. Oh, we might need. Um, what brings you here? This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! All right, um, my men will need armor. And women, maybe. Let me see your shop. Oh! Of course. All right. Uh, we'll just do a quick perusal. All types of armor. Seeing that. What is this thing doing? Dexterity. Uh, he extra healing effects isn't a bad one. Uh, heraldry. Bear's paw. Manual. Oh, manual of focus. What are these things? This hefty tome forbidden by the Chantry contains life lessons. 
allows readers to re reallocate his or her attributes. Oh, it's a respec. Uh, bear paw kid applies heraldry to the selected character's current shield. Oh, Grey Warden heraldry, heraldry, but it, it's only good for shields, which is fine. That's kind of cool. Manual guardian. Okay, so that's another uh, purchasable, but I don't have the money yet, so we're gonna hold off on it. I will remember it though, or I'll try to. You, sir. Forcing me, me, to come to this dreadful turnip keep. Oh, the integrity. Hey, long as you make badass armor, we're we're all for you, dude. Who's this now? Oh, Voldrick. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. All right. Uh, you're a mason, then? That I am. A proper Orzammar mason. Although, I suppose I'm a surfacer now. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? All right, um, I might regret this. What would it take to rebuild it, right? Whatever would we poor humans do without the dwarves? Uh, make do with the resources you have. Just know what do we got to get you? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. And we are broke. Um, make do with the resources. Oh, what 80 sovereigns do I can raise that much in time? Don't take too long about it. It'll take a while to rebuild, and the dark spawn aren't patient. Are they really giving us a time? Uh, hopefully they're not. It's not a timer. Um, surface dwarves, cloud gazer, stone blind, skyer. These are how dwarves describe their surfacer cousins. It's traditional to snort these words with disdain. A dwarf who goes topside forfeits his caste, his house, and the favor of the ancestors. Once he sets foot on the surface, he is no longer welcome. And we know that. Um, where is... Let's see here. Quest updated. Raising money. He has asked for 80 sovereigns for wages. I don't know that there's really going to be a time limit on that. So, oh, that's... Wait, where's world map? This world map. And this is not... Is there anything over here? I don't think so. We fought. Oh, I say I don't think so, and it's still worth going taking a little look. Oh, we found them leather boots. You know we did. Well, I don't know any reason we shouldn't talk to the nobles right away. That seems like we were just in that room. All we had to do was leave. Um. Yeah, let's let's go do that, and then probably. I think I want to hit the city first because we might have adventures there. Might be able to find a thief. Like we had one. That's all I'm going to say is we had one. <laughs> all right. What do you got, mistress? I'm here to serve, commander. Um, could you do anything to resupply our soldiers? Is that what we're looking for? I will do what can be done but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. I think that's, uh, right. That's a mission, right? Uh, the First Warden only sent a treasure. Why does the First Warden care about... Here, we'll, we'll say that. Why does about he care? About the Arling? He does not. But about the implications? A great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was yeah, cast out... we got that. We're now... If your Arling succeeds, it will... Very well, Commander. Just, oh, yeah, see, trade must flow. We did get that mission. Good. I'm understanding it. Find merchants for Vigil's Keep. We're just racking them up. So that's just convo. Exclamation point means there's a mission to be had. I got to remember that. Uh, Senna Chanel. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Okay, how could I trust anyone who served that asp of a man? Uh, what do I need to know about them? Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Oh, no. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Commander. You know what? Um, 
Is it because we went and dealt with the prisoner and now they're all going to be like, you, you totally killed the son. Arise. Persuade. Our differences are many, but our cause is one. Let's try that. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck... And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Okay, well, I guess that happened. Uh, present yourself to the nobles, the lords and ladies. Now is a good time to get to know them. Speak to the Veril when you want the ceremony to end. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. We got to get to know these people. So, uh, Lord Edelbreck. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. Uh, what seems to be the problem? As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Right. Uh, I will take the matter under advise advisement. I doubt your pleas are entirely altruistic. The Darkspawn must be the focus of my attention. No, it's about all of it. Because then how would you fight the Darkspawn if people aren't fed? Uh, I will send the soldiers wherever they are most needed. I will take the matter under advisement. Thank you, my liege. Defending the land. Let's see what he's saying about that. Choose where to defend. There are too few soldiers to patrol the entire Arling. Lord Edelbrook believes that defending the farmland is crucial. That said, he's a farmer. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Is this what we're doing right now? Just... It's good to be all right. The bowing, the social climbers who do anything to get ahead. If you see any stray damsels in distress, send them my way. <sighs> Sir Tamra over there has something important to speak to you about. Okay. Who's Sir Tamra? That's the ambassador. Well, it's... You're just for enchantment right now, right? May I be of service? No, you may not. Um... Nope. Farewell, Commander. Just wondering if you had advice or anything related. I'm going to rotate around. You are the store. Now this is what I'm talking about. Skirts, drink, and music. <laughs> yeah, you, you chill out and be you good. You think one of them would give a dwarf a go? Or maybe two of them? <laughs> maybe, but uh, you got to have more, more style, friend. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. Oh, Commander Liege, Liege. Who's my liege? We got a couple. Who's Ban Esmerel? I see that Lord Edelbreck wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Okay, why protect the city over the country folk? I must confer with my advisors about this. We are at war. Defend yourself. I need soldiers. Um, why protect the city over the country folk? Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? She kind of did, though. I feel like she was spitting a little bit more venom. Uh, there are too few soldiers. Lady Esmeral argued that your priority should be to defend the city. That said, she lives in the city. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, what else we got here? It's between those two. Well, let's talk to Ser Tamra. Warden Commander. Hello. We've all heard so much about you. So many good things. Unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Okay. This much I've gathered already. I need their names. Are you certain that's a serious accusation? I'm just going to say I need their names. I cannot give what I do not possess. I've had occasion to intercept some mm. of their missives. They are cryptic things. 
Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Okay. Um, a conspiracy to murder me? I'm flattered. And how do I know this isn't part of the of some game of yours? I want to see their missives. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Man, there are some politics and stuff going on in this game. A brewing conspiracy. This is going to be crazy. Find out uh, more about the conspiracy. Ser Tamra believes there's a conspiracy afoot. She's gone to collect more evidence. Evidence. Ev evidence. Well, did we get Lord Guy? It's yeah. an honor to have you as Lord our liege, Commander. I don't know here. Um, what are we supposed to confer with? Should we get a move on? Okay, well, I think we're just ready to talk to this guy. Okay. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh... If you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Uh, oh, who do I need to know here? Edelbrook said they were not defending the farmlands. I have heard of a conspiracy against me. Uh, Edelbrook said we're not defending the farmlands. Edelbrook speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade... I leave this to Captain uh, Garavel. The order stands the city must be protected. Amaranthine has its walls that the farmers have our soldiers. Trade must flow. We need supplies to fight the darkspawn. Um, oh my god. Oh. I don't know. I If we leave it to Captain Garavel, is that going to be good? Um, I'm. You know what? I'm, I'm going to make a decision here, and I don't know if it's right, because that's what I'm doing in this game. I'm going to say uh, Amaranthine has its walls that the farms have our soldiers. Now, I don't know if they're too spread that way, but I do believe, like, food, you can starve them out. They'll be, we'll be behind walls just starving and dying, you know? So, yeah. As you wish. I made a decision. You have assigned soldiers to defend the farms. You cannot, you can't live without food is, well, that's my logic. All right. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um, who do I need to know? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrecht, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Right, but there are more men and more people in the farms, too, so... I've heard of a conspiracy against me. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Nope. Uh, Sir Tamara doesn't know she brings some evidence? No. I'm going to say no idea. It's speculation at this point. Could be nothing. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options. Some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. Okay. Um, let them try to trap me better men have tried. Tell me about them. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. You know what? Uh, what are the soldiers' odds of success? How do I reach this Dark Wolf? What would you recommend? Or what would You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. You know what, though? But that's happened throughout all of time, and that's why royalty would marry into each other and you send off people, because if your daughter or somebody else who you love and care for is and you know, it... Ah. I kind of... Oh, my God. Um, where can I find this dark wolf? No, we're doing hostages. I'm going with it. I love it. That worked quite well during the Olesian occupation. Any means Just necessary. don't expect the nobles to love you for it. Or do anything to help you unless forced. I don't need their love. I need their obedience. Do it. I'm saying that. We're Make her have mercy on us. I'll arrange it, Commander. If you'll excuse me. We're... I love this. I love this. Uh, you dealt with a conspiracy. We're going to come over and talk to see if she's pissed, if she knows what we chose. 
Villages come and go, but a city that has been sacked can take generations to recover. Commander. Okay. Man, I uh consequences to everything. Now I I think we're we're done here, as far as I know. Talk to him again. I'm here to no. serve, Commander. No, you're not. That will be all. Very well, Commander. There we go. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Yes. Um, uh, I should get back to mingling. No, the ceremony has gone on long enough. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Man, we made... We've made some crazy decisions so far in this one. You met the nobles and heard them swear their oaths of fealty. Well, well, well. I think now it's time for us to head out, I guess. Uh, maybe go hit Amaranthine, which we're not going to be very welcome there after we just pulled that shit. But I'm loving it. And let's go. And let's do it in the next episode.